Hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel Roomboy HD here and welcome back to Chelsea Career Mode Season 3 Episode number 26 And yeah guys this is gonna be the last episode of this season We have the FA Cup Final against Bournemouth and also the Champions League Final that will be played against Real Madrid Yep there it is the FA Cup Final and the Champions League Final Alright let's go straight into the first match Chelsea against Bournemouth FA Cup Final and this is the team we're going to go with, our second team. I believe we can beat them. Let's go. A chance to etch your name in folklore. Who's it going to be? Only two teams left in the battle for the FA Cup. There can be just one winner. Stay with us. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Right, let's go. Here's Savio for us. He's charging down the left hand side into the box. Savio with the shot, and oh, he's the post. Unlucky. And here's Savio again. Squares it to Gabi Vega. He's into the box, and he shoots Odero with a brilliant save. Vega with a corner kick. Whips it in. Can he find someone? But then with a shot deflection, but Odero quick to save it. Savio again hits it down to Gabi Vega. Whips it in. Jackless Jackson with the header near post save by Odero. Gallagher to Zabani. Zabani loses the ball to Gabi Vega, steals it off him. He shoots and straight at the keeper. Poor shot by him. And he saves it again. And yeah, guys, we're peppering them in the first half, but we couldn't get the goal. But yeah, we go into the second half, nil nil. Should have gone should have gone into the lead at least. But yeah. Let's try to get the goals in the second half and avoid extra time or even penalties. Right, second half, Nico Gonzalez on the right hand side cuts in with his left foot shot. And oh my goodness, how did he miss that? That's the kind of chances he should be putting away. But yeah, substitution gives White Shirky, Zakaria, and Disasi coming on. Let's see if they can change the game. Wendell for Bournemouth on the left hand side crosses it in. Disasi has it out. Brilliant defending there. Ryan Shaki wins the ball back. And yeah, guys, that's all the highlights for the 90 minutes. Yeah, we go into extra time. Unfortunately, we have to play a little bit more. Let's see what happens. Zakarian, lovely through ball to find Cherky. Cherky's through. He's got pace to run away from the defender. Surely Cherky can score. Yes, he can. Ryan Cherky finally makes it 1-0 to Chelsea in the first half of the extra time. And look what it means to the players. Finally, we beat the keeper. And yeah, he's one hand on the trophy. Ryan Cherky here. Let's take a look at that. Lovely run by him. And he slots it away into that bottom corner. Yeah, guys. That's the first half of the extra time. Let's hold on to this lead. Or maybe extend our lead in the second half. And finally, maybe we could leave this title. All right, here's Savio. Lovely true ball. Finding Cherky again. Cherky is through. Cherky, last minute of the second half. He squares it. Finds Zakarian. And the ball rolled in. And it's 2-0 to Chelsea. In the dying minutes of the game. Asin Zakaria and the super sub combining with Ryan Cherky also the super sub and he secured the victory for us two hands on the trophy now surely no way back for Bournemouth take a look at that again Cherky again in the thick of things squares it to Zakaria and he's the defender deflected but yeah he rolls in into the net and yeah guys that's it that's the end of the game we have won the FA Cup title Chelsea 2 Bournemouth nil. what a victory we had to go through to extra time couldn't do it in the 90 minutes but everything ended well and yeah Conor Gallagher will be lifting his second trophy this season and that is the double completed the Premier League and the FA Cup what an accomplishment by the players here is the trophy presentation there isn't seem to be a stage there but yeah take a look at that beautiful FA Cup trophy yeah so there's no stage but there's a there's a board the FA Cup board in front looks a little bit underwhelming but yeah, there we go. Chelsea are the FA Cup champions. Let's go. And just enjoy this trophy celebration, guys. Right there we go, two trophies this season. We did win it last season as well when we won the quadruple. Yeah, we have one more trophy to fight for this season and that is the last game of the season against Real Madrid in the Champions League. And take a look, Chelsea double up the picture. 
Always a mess. Yeah, Asin Zakarian's body is all over the place. Alright, offer already for Nicholas Jackson. 119 million from Bayern Munich. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna ask for more for Nicholas Jackson. We're gonna put it up to 170 million as suggested by my assistants. And a minimum of 150 million. I don't think they're gonna accept it, but yeah. Alright, another offer. Leslie Gochukwu from Nottingham Forest. Right, 13.9 million. They want him. Let's negotiate this slightly higher and change it to 18.5 million. Let's see if they can accept it. And yeah, Nottingham Forest have accepted it. Ugo Chukwu will be moving to Nottingham Forest next season for 18 million pounds. All right, the final game of the episode, final game of the season, Champions League final, Real Madrid against Chelsea. We're going to be using our strongest team. Let's go. Can we secure ourselves European success and the treble? Let's find out. Chelsea, and we're live on EA TV. All right, let's go. Latasa for Real Madrid. Jimenez into the ball to Bellingham with the shot and straight at mine and good save there. And his Blaovic, he's through. He beats a defender. He tries the shot, tries to roll it, and Kutor gets the save. Uh, maybe a foot to that. His Kavaskelia with a corner kick and Lopez with the header. Kutor saves it again. Kunku, lovely through ball to find Blaovic. Love is through. Can he beat the defender? He cuts inside, fakes it into the box, and he shoots. What a goal from Dusan Vlaovic just before half time at the 45th minute mark. And of course, it had to be him, the Champions League top scorer, Dusan Vlaovic, scores in the final to put us ahead. 1 0 against Real Madrid. Take a look at that replay again. He receives the ball, dashes at the defender, he cuts inside with a brilliant finish into that far post. Ketua couldn't reach it. That's all for the first half guys, we are leading 1-0, it's looking good, one hand on the trophy, we have to defend this because Real Madrid is a good side, let's try not to let this slip away, let's go into the second half, yes Nkunku, lovely ball over the top to find Vlaovic, he heads it down, can he be the defender, yes he can, into the box again, Vlaovic with the shot and this time Kertua rejects the goal, substitution time, Hernandez Savio coming in, right, corner kick, short corner from Savio, Enzo with the whip into the box and Angisa. Angisa, unlikely of goal scorers, scores in the final to make it 2-0 to Chelsea. And surely now, surely that should be the winner. Let's take a look at that again. Short corner from Savio. Change the angle on that cross. Enzo whips it in. Angisa climbed the highest and he knots it home. 2-0 to Chelsea. Here's Hernandez into the box. Cuts in. Finds Flaovic with the shot. Kurtois saves it. And that's it, guys. That's the final whistle. Chelsea are European champions. We have won the Champions League against Real Madrid. We did it in emphatic fashion. Real Madrid nil, Chelsea 2, goals by Blaovic and Zambo and Giza. And we can finally relax now. We have got all three trophies. We have won the treble, the biggest trophy, which is this one, the Champions League trophy. And yeah. Amazing achievement by the players. We also won a Champions League last season. So we are back-to-back -back champions. And this is the trophy presentation. Enjoy it, guys. Rhys James, our captain, will be lifting this trophy. And we are champions of Europe. Yeah, Rhys James bringing the trophy to celebrate with the fans. Look what it means to the players. Look what it means to the fans. We are definitely a big, big team in Europe. We won it twice in a row. Kudos to the players. Kudos to Pochettino. That's the team photo. We can celebrate all night long. There we go. Chelsea, UEFA Champions League champions. Chelsea treble tops. Look at that.
Again, the news, the picture on the news, it's always a mess. It's just Blaovic and his floating head. His body is all over the place, falling down, melting onto the floor. That equals to four Champions League trophy in Chelsea football history. All right, and here is the trophy bar celebration scene. Players are back in England, players are back in London, bringing the trophy to the fans. Take a look at that beautiful sight. Three trophies on the bus, the Premier League, the FA Cup, and the Champions League. Three trophies in a season. It was four last season, but we upped the difficulty to legendary mode, and we still won three trophies. That's a very impressive feat for us. I don't know, should we increase the difficulty again? I think the next one is ultimate. Yeah, but we'll see. Alright, so that's the final look of the Premier League table. We are first with 90 points, Arsenal second, Liverpool third, City in fourth. And the bottom three, Brentford, Fulham and Burnley going down to the championship. Still devastated that we lost to Burnley. And there we go, FA Cup champions. We lost to Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. PSG won the Conference League against Mallorca and Monaco was won the Europa League against Manchester United. Alright guys, in pre-season, there's gonna be the World Cup going on. Let's take a look at the player stats before we end this episode. Vlaovic, the top scorer in the league, 24 goals in only just 15 matches. Amazing player. Jackson, our next player, 20 goals in 24 matches. Alright, top assist, Akuna from Manchester City with 12 assists, sharing with Rodrigo and Almada. Amada 12 assists in 15 matches, by the way. That's much more impressive from him. Right, clean sheets, Pope in first, Allison second, Edison in third, and Minan is in seven. That's shocking. Pickford in fourth, actually. Yeah, Pickford's above Minan. Top scorers in the Champions League, Vlaovic, 16 goals, double of Rafael Liao. 11 matches as well. 11 matches and 16 goals. Vlaovic is a monster. Barascala, top assists, nine. Vlaovic also six assisting six. Fernandez with 5. Top clean sheet in the Champions League, Minen with 6. So let's take a look at the stats of the players in our club for this season. Dusan Vlaovic, 31 appearances, 49 goals, 18 assists, 18 clean sheets. This guy man, what a bargain. We got him for like what, 60, 70 million. Second place, Nicholas Jackson, 31 goals. Nkunku, 18 goals. Zakarian, 17 goals. Varas Kelia, 12 goals. Zakarian is our super sub. He keeps scoring after coming off the bench. And yeah, Kvaras Kela with 12 goals, 12 assists, 12 clean sheets, a 12-12 for him. Savio, 11 goals, 17 assists, 11 clean sheets. What a player he's been. An uh, underrated player, Savio. Ryan Cherokee, another super sub, 10 goals, 5 assists, 3 clean sheets. Thiago Almada, 8 goals, 16 assists. Gary Vega, 7 goals, 10 assists. And the rest of them got a handful here and there. Top assists, like we said, Vlaovic, 18. Kunku, 17. Savio 17, Amada 16, Fernandez 13, Varaskela 12, Gabri Vega 10, and the rest got some here and there as well. Pau Torres, the top clean sheet with 18. Thiago Almada surprisingly got 18 as well, also with Blahovic. Yeah, let's take a look where Pickford is. Our Pickford is down there with 10 clean sheets. He's been poor, but yeah. Alright guys, that is the end of the episode and also the end of the season. Thank you guys so much for supporting this series. We have done three seasons. We have won virtually all trophies. The Premier League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup and the Champions League. Uh, we haven't won the Super Cup, I believe. And we have also haven't won the Conference League and the uh, Europa League. So probably we're going to have to finish fifth. We're going to have to finish fifth next season. If there is a next season. I'm going to take a rest and think about if I should continue the series. But if you guys want more of this series, let me know in the comments. And also, please hit the like button if you have enjoyed the three seasons so far. And that will surely motivate me to do more. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.